Hey guys, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Visions. Welcome newbies in betweens and OGs. Give your girl some dap, boo, cause you the dopest and we know this, okay? All right, we're gonna tap in again for some more messages that will give you clarity, confirmation, inspiration, or just guidance on your situation, okay, babies? I am so thankful every every time that you support, you click in, you resonate, and it is a helpful source for you or helpful reading for you. All right, my babies. So I want to see what messages Spirit has for you, okay, today, or whenever you peer into this reading. It is timeless. Please make sure you take from it what resonates from you and leave the rest behind, my babes. All right? So let's see what's going on. What is going on with my babes? Indecision. Oh, you are indecisive about something. Okay? It says, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So right now you are indecisive. Maybe you want to switch jobs. Maybe you don't know if you want to stay in this marriage or this relationship. Maybe you don't know if you want to actually take that leap of faith and put a title on this new relationship. Maybe you're not ready for a relationship, right? Maybe you want to do a little bit more planning before you take or make a proper decision i'm hearing i'm hearing when it comes to moving when it comes to your finances when it comes to um, certain important decisions that you need to make but right now you don't know what to do okay but spirit is saying the answer is going to come okay and you will feel a resonance of peace okay so let's get another one And we have judgment, okay? Basically clarifying what I just said. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So you are indecisive about a, I'm hearing, major decision. Or you're going to have two people, two opportunities that you're going to have to choose from. And for some of you, it's going to be a very difficult choice. But you will intuitively know which one is best for you. And for others of you, I'm hearing that you're also gonna have a choice between two or more, but it's going to be a no-brainer, okay? But when this opportunity or these opportunities arise for both situations, you're going to have a paused moment and you're gonna really go within so that you can make the proper choice, I'm hearing. And why I say that is because whatever decision you choose is going to truly help you grow and expand. Your conscious, your spiritual awareness, your stability, your love life, and your reality, okay? So you're going to be faced with a decision soon or you could be going through this right now. Please choose wisely. Take your time, but not all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, not all day, Spirit is saying. But if you listen to, I'm hearing, if you listen to us, and if you listen to your intuition and your gut, you will make the right choice. Okay? Now, Spirit is saying, if this is not your energy of being indecisive in regards to making the right decision best for you, this is someone that is watching you from afar that is wanting to make the decision to come towards you. This could be someone that you are always around, a love interest, a co-worker, a family member, a friend that is going to ask you for your expertise, advice, so that they can make the proper decision, okay? 
But all in all, there is a decision that needs to be made or is going to be made. Now we're gonna see what decision are you trying to make or is someone that either could be in your energy that is watching you around you in some form and fashion trying to make, okay? We're gonna get some tarot. All right, that's fast, they talking. Spirit talking today. So we have, okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, okay? Spirit is saying, put it in this order. So we have someone, an opportunity coming towards you fast, all right? Now, we're gonna start off with career because I'm getting two messages, okay? Then we have the Six of Wands, and then we have the Knight of Cups, just to lay them all out here for you. All right, hope you can see that. Let me back that up a little bit. Now, when it comes to your career, you have multiple opportunities coming at you fast. All right? Spirit is saying, do not feel overwhelmed. Do not feel pressured. Please sit with yourself. Ponder about it for a little bit. Do some introspection. Meditate. Sit with us. Listen to your intuition and that gut feeling on which decision is best for you. What opportunity, business opportunity, right? Job offer is best for you, okay? And when you make that proper decision, boom, things, you're gonna have a lot of success. Stability, support. I'm hearing awards, accolades, I'm hearing applause, congratulations, more followers, more subscribers, more viewers, more people that are going to feed your fire when it comes to this passionate new endeavor or level up of some sort. A lot of celebration, a lot of support is what I'm hearing, okay? You're going to get a lot of people wanting your expertise, your mentorship, how you did it, how you're doing it. And it's all because, one, you're trusting yourself to make the right decision because you are going to make the right decision, Spirit is saying. And it's going to lead you to a lot of victory. You see all this green, a lot of love, man. And then you're cloaked in red. You're going to be, I'm hearing, in a different financial bracket, okay? But not only just financially um, satisfied, you're going to be emotionally satisfied because what you are going to do or whatever job, endeavor, business, venture that you're going to start or keep progressing in, you bring a lot of passion, enthusiasm, right? You bring a lot of selflessness, relatability, adaptability, you're an asset to whatever career field you're in, position that you hold. You could be a leader or about to step into that type of role. Everything is going to go great, but you need to make a decision, okay? And you have a lot of people that are willing to work with you, willing to, you know, stick by your side, willing to, you know, give you that any up of support, when sometimes you feel like, oh my God, what do I need to do? What is the next step? Can I keep doing this? Is this the right thing for me? You're going to have supportive soulmates, okay? They're going to cheer you on. They're going to tell you you're doing the right thing. For some of you, they're going to help you make the proper decisions, okay? But they're going to come and lend a helping hand because people are now seeing that you're helping yourself. You're making better decisions, which in turn is putting you in a better position in life, mentally and spiritually. Okay, so now people, you know, want to come towards you and support you. Unfortunately, I'm hearing that cliche, like once you, you know, blow up, once you become big, once you become popular, then everybody you want to help you now. Yeah, that's pretty much the scenario going on here when it comes to this Knight of Cups, okay? Now, when it comes to love, 
you have someone that has been indecisive about taking this connection to the next level or even offering you a commitment, right? Even a friendship that can lead into commitment, I'm hearing. And this person has been contemplating, going back and forth, typing messages, deleting it. You know, for some of them, writing these long paragraphs and then fearing that you're going to reject them or you don't want to be with them. They don't know where you are in life. I don't feel like you're talking to this person, this love interest. For a lot of you, you probably don't even know who this person is. For some of you, you might. And that's why you're indecisive about giving this person another chance. Okay? Whether you know this person or not, this person has been contemplating whether they wanted to take this relationship to the next level or not, or whether they want to offer you something. But I feel like they've finally made their mind up because they have found out some truths in regards to how they feel. And they now see you in the spotlight. Okay, so you put that where you may. Okay, because for some of you guys, this person waited till you got some form of recognition or fame for you to look worthy in this said individual's eyes. Because before when you were struggling, when you know you didn't have the best discernment or the best decision making, this person just watched you, also could have looked over you um, because maybe this person could be in the public eye or they have already reached a level of success and they felt like you weren't a benefit. That's for some of you. Okay. So, you know, put that where it may, but for others of you, you have someone that was just indecisive. Like they really like you. They've always liked you, but they don't really know what's going on in your life. They don't know if you have someone they are scared of rejection, but it's like, who wants to do the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, right? So this person is going to come towards you and offer you a gesture in love, okay? And give you all the attention that you so desire. This person has a lot of suitors on their ass, but that does not mean that they're engaging in any of these suitors, right? Now for that other particular individual, that is now wanting to rush in because you have made something of yourself, because you're leveling up, because you cleared your energy, you're in a new space, you're happy, you're in peace. Now they wanna make the decision to come forward and offer you something when unfortunately they were not there for you through your toughest time. So you may be like, um, what you here for? Like, why you come back, right? Why are you coming towards me now? You didn't look at me like, you know, wifey or husband material in the past. What is your agenda? Like this is all of the questions that are going to be swirling in your mind. Okay. When someone that either looked over you or never ever gave you uh, a shot with them in the past, or this could be a past, I'm just saying love situation, bling, I'm hearing husband, wife, companion that wants to come back, okay? Because for some, they feel as though they can't do it without you. And for others, they just underestimated the shit out of you. I'm gonna be honest, all right? And for, in that same, some of you, they were praying against you so that you wouldn't actually hit this type of potential because they wanted you to be under their thumb, okay? Now, you do have, like I said, a select few that this person just was scared to come towards you and you don't even know who this person is. But they have figured out that you are the truth and they want to make you a part of their truth and their life. We have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Right after that is peeking out <laughs> is the lovers. Okay? So you're going to have a choice between old and new and you're going to have to decide which Love situation best suits you. What is your truth? What matches your values, your morals, your ethics, and what you truly deserve in a partner and what you want in a partner? Okay? Whether it's this past person, a person that overlooked you, never gave you a chance, might have even just been friends with benefits, 
never looked past that at all when it came to you. But now they, oh, all of a sudden want a relationship. They want to come back in your energy. Or this could be someone's brand spanking new. Okay? And you're going to have the pick of the litter. And it's all because whatever... I'm really feeling like this is financial. Whatever financial decision you are about to make or you're making at this time is going to have you winning, boo. Winning. But again, I feel like a lot of these people or damn near all of these people, it does not matter the situation or circumstance, they either have a lot of friends, they're in the public eye, or they are a high influence of some sort. Or they could just have a high career position like a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, a life coach, a counselor, a healer, um, a chef of some sort. Like this person has a high position. They could even be a leader. Okay. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, this person didn't come forth and I feel like you don't know this person or you just didn't get to know this person. And it's because they didn't want to scare you. Like, I feel like their energy is bold and strong and it intimidates a lot of people. Okay. They also may wear a poker face because of the type of work they do or by a lot of betrayals and, you know, falsify people that they have to, I hear and communicate with on a daily basis, but inside they are just so love their love. Okay, so that is the decision you're pretty much making when it comes to your finances and when it comes to love. Or you could have already made this decision. All right, guys, so let's clarify the Knight of Swords really quick. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Again, memory came up at the bottom of the deck. So someone is trying to come and deliver some form of truth and clarity, but also be truthful with yourself when this opportunity or opportunities come in, okay? Wow, the devil, because not all opportunities are good opportunities, Spirit is saying. But also, if this is a um, love interest, this person is obsessed with you. And they can no longer deny the truth. They're obsessed. You could have had sex with this person in the past, okay? Or you could have been in a relationship with this person. Or this person fantasizes about what it would be like to have sex with you or to live with you. And they don't want to fucking fantasize anymore. They're coming forth and making this obsession real, okay? Now, this person can also be a karmic individual that is coming with a lot of baggage and a lot of competition. Remember what I said when it came to that individual that's in the public eye of some sort or that has a um, massive influence on people or has, you know, gotten where they want to be or at least hit a couple pinnacles in life to where they want to be financially. And this person is now seeing you do the same thing. So now they want to come. This person is just obsessed. This, I'm hearing infatuated love. This is not real love. This person is coming to put you in the competition that is already going on behind the scenes when it comes to this person. Spirit is saying, steer clear of that person. But then you have onlookers, right? And then you have that past person that you left that is obsessed with you. That can no longer hide the truth, all right? You got that bomb, bomb, poom, poom, or wang. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. And if you've never had sex with this person because you don't know who the fuck this person is, they fantasize about this. This person fantasizes about doing the nastiest, dirtiest, devilish shit to you, okay? And they fantasize about this shit most likely when they're at work, okay? <laughs> Side message, oof. If you are currently in a relationship, this is not going to be for all, but your person, while they're at work, they could be rushing towards a karmic individual and doing the nasty, okay? And I feel like maybe a coworker of theirs or this karmic individual is so fucking spiteful 
that they may even come and message you about this. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Clarify the six of wands. I cannot make this shit up. Seven of swords. Yeah. Someone at work is getting a lot of attention, having sex at the job. Okay. Being promiscuous and sneaky while you could be at work or you could be at home dealing with the children and you're thinking everything is copacetic. This person is enjoying the attention that they're getting. I'm getting a low self-esteem. I'm getting validation. Okay. Uh, because this person doesn't feel good about themselves. Even if they have a lot of money, even if they're in the public eye, even if they are winning, um, they're still insecure in some form and fashion and they need validation from the opposite and the same sex. And if this person is not in the public eye, this person gets a lot of attention at work. And I feel like your spirit team, your guides have been trying to come in your dreams and let you know the truth about this person. This person is a fucking devil. And they don't mean you any good at all. Okay, we're still on if you're in a relationship with this person. Now, if you're not in a relationship with this person and you are in the public eye, you're doing great at work, right? You are getting a lot of suitors. People are in your inbox, your DM texting you, okay? I feel like these people are strategizing on how to get into your good graces to get to know you. But I'm really hearing loud and clear that as you're reaching this success or if you're already in it, you got a lot of people that just want to, you know, use you, trick you, that mean no good for you, that are devils in disguises. But they paint themselves out to be very helpful and loving and supportive. Just be careful, y'all, because just as you're going to get a lot of support from genuine individuals, you're going to get individuals that strategize on how they can take your success, how they can copy off of you. I'm hearing copyright your business, take from you. They're strategizing on how to bring you down, how to ruin your reputation. My God, it's like whoever I'm picking up on wants to come in and paint this fantasy, maybe even have sex with you to confuse you and then dip out. And what that is going to do is pretty much siphon your energy and pretty much not allow you to have the mental clarity and the focus and strength to keep going on the path of success that you're on or that you're leading towards. Like someone wants to come in and distract you and make you indecisive. And make you not pick the right choice. Whether this is suitors, jobs. I'm getting a completely different message now. But I feel like you may know that this person is toxic as fuck. Because you could have already went in a cycle with this person. And for others of you, this is people plotting on you. Because you are in the limelight. Because you're headed towards your fulfillment. When it comes to whatever you wish for, love relationships, money, career, and you got people plotting on you. Clarify the seven of swords. Clarify the seven of swords. The king of wands. Yeah. Somebody is just coming back to have sex with you. But I feel like you know this person's agenda or this person could be at work getting so much attention just... This person is a scumbag. I'm going to be honest. Like, they're a clown. This person, as soon as they go to work or they're out of your sight, especially if you're in a relationship with this person, please take it if it resonates. They truly run towards other options. Whether this is at work, whether this is just they're talking, flirting, fucking other people at work. This person possibly could have sexual addictions so they could have a lot of flings and what this person wants to do is pretty much fuck up 
your equilibrium, your balance. Okay? This person doesn't have any type of good intention coming towards you. Even though the message still stands in the beginning about, you know, you have a beautiful opportunities that are coming towards you in love and relationship, but then you also have this person that may even try to propose a business proposition that's bullshit. And it's all just to get in your pants and to cipher your energy. But then you have people, like I said, that are actually coming towards you that have genuine intent to, you know, have a banging, beautiful, boisterous, booming business together. But this motherfucker right here, don't trust this person. Whoever this king of wands is, and that doesn't always mean it's a fire sign. That's just someone in this energy. But it could be a fire sign, right? Could be a Capricorn, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, okay? Or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Placements anywhere in their chart. But I'm getting like three to four different scenarios here. Like the ones I've stated in the beginning and then this energy that pretty much came into the reading, which I don't know if you're with this person, but if you are, for some of you, this person is a fucking cheater. Like they don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves, but how to pleasure their dick. I'ma just be honest. And while you're at home or while you're, you know, being faithful and minding your business and taking care of the kids or yourself or whatever, this person is going off at work, buying your back fucking options, flirting. Oh, I heard getting, getting their dick sucked. Oh my God. And you don't even know it. And for others of you, this person is going to come in and try to manipulate you, gaslight you, make you indecisive. Throw off your equilibrium. Mm. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups real quick. Oh my God, we already at 30. We're just going to take it. Yeah, we have the King of Swords. We have the Lovers. And we have the Empress. All right, so it's two different energies here I'm getting. You have a King of Wands that is a whole clown, has a deep sexual addiction temptation is easy for this person this person has no fucking um discipline no ethics no values no morals this i'm here this person will fuck anything walking oh my god then you have this king of swords that is actually in love with you that looks at you as an empress or an emperor take it as you may um that values you puts you on a pedestal that is actually willing to give you Real love. Their cup. They're coming with their cup. This motherfucker coming with a wand. So, like I said, you have two options. Woo! One of the options is a whole fuck boy or woman. And the other option is the truth. The king of swords. Someone that's intellectual. Someone that's a visionary, someone that takes charge, that has clear communication and knows what they want. But like I said in the beginning, someone that's a hard shell, but a hopeless romantic in the inside. But they had to build this exterior because of their work, because of the manipulation, because of the fakes that they see on a daily, okay? The, the lovers is here because you have a decision to make, okay? But this person is in love with you and they want to have children with you or you could already have children with this person. Okay. And this person is coming in with nothing but good intent. You have the six of swords, right? They're going to come and help ease your mind, be a healing component. Okay. And this person wants to take you away with them. Like you could have children with this person, this, this person could have children or they want to have children with you. But this person is coming in from the divine to take you or help you in whatever way you need to be helped. 
It's definitely mentally, if you are indecisive in regards to what decision to make, I'm trying to tell you, somebody's going to help. Like, and I said that when I picked that up earlier with this Knight of Cups. I think this Knight of Cups is going to come in and make the decision more easily. Because you're going to see this Knight of Wands, I mean this King of, yeah, Knight of Wands, basically. King of Wands as the straight devil. Whether you've been with this person or this person is coming in fast, quick, in a hurry, you're going to leave with the other person. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you have Taurus and Libra here. And with this King of Swords, you're going to expand much more than you would with this King of Wands. Like I said, it doesn't have to rely on the signs because a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be this King of Wands and a Sag, Aries, and Leo could be this King of Swords. It's just energy. Okay, so Spirit is keeping this. We got the high priestess as I split the deck. Quiet, because they want you to make the right decision. You have learned enough to make the proper decision. Okay? So you have two people that, you know, pretty much are pining after you, sweets. This could be women. Okay, don't get it fucked up. Um, or this could be men. And you have to make the proper decision. Ooh. But they're both coming towards you. One is coming towards you with loving intentions. And one is coming towards you. Oh, you're not going to like how this person comes towards you. Because they're going to be direct, cocky, arrogant. Ooh. And trying to get down to the get down. You're going to be like, hold the fuck up. I'm the motherfucking empress or emperor. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. <laughs> so one is going to act so passionate and into you and... You know, kind of love bombing the shit out of you. And then one is going to actually be calm, cool, collected. You know, they're going to take their time with you, get to know you. You know, that y'all might even start off as friends, friends with benefits. But this person wants more with you versus this, uh, this other person. Hell no. This Knight of Swords can also be saying, Spirit is saying, get, get away from this person. You know the truth. This person ain't no good. Never will be no good. So either don't take this person back, don't even give this person the time of day, or break up with this person, Spirit is saying, okay? Because you got something better waiting for you or coming in. All right, guys, let's get advice. I cannot make this shit up. Y'all, it says time to go. So you could be dealing with this person in some form and fashion. And Spirit is saying, it's time to go, man. We're trying to hook you up with something better here. Career-wise, love-wise, because, you know, the Empress is expansion as well. But, of course, we have the lovers maybe getting you into a career field that you love, that you can conquer, that you can be a leader at, that you get up and you're passionate about every single day, or a love that... I'm, <laughs> I hear acts cold towards everyone else to not give off the, I'm hearing, idea that they want that person, right? This person may not be a flirt. They may only be flirting with you or you may be the only one that sees this person's flirty, sexual, genuine, soft side. While everyone else, this person is poker face and, you know, astute. <laughs> but the Spirit is saying, whatever the case may be, you're going to know what decision to make at the proper time. I'm hearing divine timing. But also, it's time to go. Okay? It's time to go. Even if you will end up by yourself right now, orphaned, you got to get away or stop dealing or stop allowing someone to come back into your energy or don't allow this person in your energy at all. Okay? Or you need to move away from this person. Whether you're trying to be friends with this person and you broke up with them and now y'all want to be friends or whether, you know, you're trying to hold on to this person and they pretty much hurt you over and over and over and over and over again. And the truth is they never going to fucking change. But it also frees up space for this person to come in. OK, so you got a tough decision to make or someone around you could be like I'm trying to tell you, getting a lot of attention it could be a love um, partner that you're with 
and they're getting a lot of attention and they're indecisive on whether they want to keep getting the attention and be single and deal with other options or someone else or to commit to you. Ooh, ooh, I don't, mm, 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 mm. But Spirit is saying that if you do orphan yourself, right, and you move away from this person, it will split the deck. It's a happy, happy. So you're going to be hella happy because this person eventually is going to come in, which I feel like is your person, not this king of wands, okay, that hides a lot of secrets, a lot of skeletons, and you don't know which way you're going with this person, up, down, left, right. You don't fucking know. This person keeps you confused or they're just a liar, all right, so it's time to go, time to make a decision, time to make a choice, and you will know which choice is best for you. But that is the reading. Sorry that these readings be so long, but I be just trying to get everything out. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for, you know, supporting me. Um, but I just want to make sure y'all get the gist of everything. All right, do what's best for you always. And move forward with much balance and much confidence and always in your power. And that's what you are going to be doing. Okay. As you move away from these individual, things are going to get massively better. Okay. Um, or they already have. But I feel like this is future energy. So right now you need to move away from giving attention to whoever this is. Maybe you, you're giving attention to this person. But y'all haven't put a title on it. This person ain't no good. All right, guys. I will be here all day giving more messages. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posts it. Until next time. Bye.